Welcome to the Infection Prevention VR experience. Please take a moment to have a look around and get familiar with your environment. When you are ready to begin, press the A button. Pay attention to your hand controls. You can move around by pushing the left or right joystick forward, pointing to an area and releasing the joystick to teleport. To interact with highlighted items, Pull the grip buttons found at the side of either controller. When you're ready, teleport forward to the highlighted zone. Welcome to the Infection Prevention VR experience. Let's get started. In this experience, we will learn about the main four pathogen groups, how to identify them, and how we can prevent infection. As we are going to enter the hospital, we must wash our hands and put on our PPE in the correct order. To do this, you must pick up the highlighted items. So to begin, please wash your hands. Put on your mask, then wash your hands again. Put on your gloves, and finally, put on your apron. Now, please select your apron from the mannequin. In some circumstances, we may need an additional level of hygiene measures. These hygiene measures ensure we reduce the chance of carrying pathogens into our working environment. Now discuss what you have learned here with your peers, and when you are ready, please teleport through to the next room. Welcome to the hospital room. A pathogen is an infectious agent that can produce disease. Here we will learn about how it can affect the body. Push each of the four pathogen buttons to learn more. A fungal infection, also called mycosis, is a skin disease caused by a fungus. There are millions of species of fungi. These infections can present as athlete's foot, ringworm, oral thrush, and more. The signs and symptoms of these types of infections include itchiness and soreness on soles of the feet, red of silver rash, hair loss, white raised spots in the mouth, burning on the tongue, and more. Now discuss these learnings with your peers. Bacteria are ubiquitous, mostly free-living organisms often consisting of one biological cell. Bacteria can be presented as MRSA, Clostridium difficile, meningitis, and more. The signs and symptoms of these types of illnesses include redness, swelling, and pus at the wound site. Non-blanching rash and watery diarrhea 10 to 15 times a day. Now, discuss these learnings with your peers. Parasitism is a close relationship between species where one organism, the parasite, lives on or inside another organism known as the host, causing it some harm and is adapted structurally to this way of life. Parasites can present as scabies, hookworm, threadworm, and more. The signs and symptoms of these types of infections include itchy lumps or nodules in the armpits, weight loss, presence of pinworm around the anus or in the stool. Now discuss these learnings with your peers. A virus is a submicroscopic infectious agent that replicates only inside the living cells of an organism. It can present as coronavirus, norovirus, HIV, and more. The signs and symptoms of these types of illnesses include a fever, vomiting and diarrhea, 
and mouth ulcers that do not heal. Now, discuss these learnings with your peers. Now we will learn about some ways in which pathogens can enter the body. Please explore the highlighted items in the room to learn more. A catheter is an invasive device that can cause pathogens to enter the body. A cannula and many more medical devices can also result in invasive contact. Cleaning an open wound can risk pathogens entering the body if proper hygiene procedures are not followed. Shortly, we will move to the next room. As we have been in contact with dangerous pathogens, we must dispose of our old PPE and put on fresh equipment. Following the correct order, please bin your old PPE, wash your hands, put on a fresh mask, then wash your hands again, put on fresh gloves, and finally, put on a fresh apron. Please select your PPE in the correct order. You can find the correct order on the screen. Now, please select your apron from the mannequin. Well done. These procedures prevent us from carrying pathogens away with us. Before we enter the home environment, please discuss what you learned here with your peers. Welcome to the home environment. In this room, we will explore ways pathogens can be present in the home. Please pick up highlighted objects to learn more. As you explore, discuss your findings with your peers. Dirty surfaces can be a form of non-contact methods that can spread pathogens. Keeping areas clean will prevent infections. We will clean this area. Uncooked or spoiled food can spread dangerous pathogens through contact. We will remove this hazard from the area. Dirty tissues can spread dangerous pathogens through contact. We will remove this hazard from the area. Now we have cleared these hazards, we must always remember to dispose of our old PPE. To end this experience, go over and pick up the TV remote. We are nearing the end of our experience. Here we have learned that a pathogen is an infectious agent that can produce disease. The four groups of pathogens are bacteria, virus, fungi, and parasites. Each group can cause various illnesses and diseases, and each can present dangerous symptoms. The number of healthcare-acquired infections must be monitored so we can learn more about how MRSA C. diff, E. coli, and norovirus can spread. To prevent infection, we must follow hygiene procedures and prevent infection from invasive devices, contact, and non-contact risks. We must follow the processes we have learned, or we can risk dangerous outbreaks of pathogens. Please discuss your learnings with your peers and lecturers. With this knowledge, we can prevent infection together and keep ourselves and others safe.
Welcome to the Infection Prevention VR experience. Please take a moment to have a look around.